Dr. Vol segment tonight, Muslim immigration survey by Chatham House of more than 10,000 Europeans. Kind of shocking. Poll is taken before President Trump's executive order was announced on January 27th, constraining refugees from seven predominantly Muslim countries. Chatham survey asked, do you think all further migration from mainly Muslim countries should be stopped in Europe? 55% say yes. Just 20% say no. 25% didn't answer. Joining us from Washington, Dr. Niall Gardner, director of the Heritage Foundation's Margaret Thatcher Center for Freedom. So what does that survey tell you, doctor, and is it a legitimate organization, Chatham? Well, it's certainly a legitimate organization. This is a very powerful poll. Chatham House, the Royal Institute of International Affairs, is arguably Britain's most prestigious uh, think tank. So this is a very, very serious survey by a serious institution. Uh, it also covers uh, 10,000 people across 10 countries uh, throughout Europe. So it's a very, very big survey. Um, and I think it's one of the most important surveys that we've seen in Europe in recent years with regard to attitudes towards uh, immigration and also uh, reflecting tremendous uh, you know, fear, anxiety in Europe uh, with regard to the huge influx of uh, refugees that have come into Europe over the last two years. Uh, so this is, a, this is a big, big poll. Uh, which does reflect, I think, widespread concern with regard to mass immigration into Europe and also with regard to the refugee crisis. Now, the low number, uh, of, that's what surprised me. Uh, Fifty-five percent, I wasn't that surprised because there are a lot of social problems associated with the Muslim migration into Europe. But, there's, you know, 20 percent say, yeah, we want to continue this. That's probably just the Muslims themselves, right? I mean, it's a, it's, it's a striking uh, figure there, uh, Bill, and there's no doubt about it. I think the wave of Islamist uh, terror attacks that we have seen across Europe from France to, to Belgium to Germany uh, in the last couple of years have had a huge impact. Uh, and without a doubt, I think that, you know, there's a real sense of foreboding uh, across much of uh, Europe and a real concern that there are more Islamist terror attacks uh, to come. And so I think that that, uh, you know, poll really captures that sense of fear. Um, and, and I think that there are concerns, of course, on both sides of the Atlantic with regard to the, the broader Islamist uh, threat. And, of course, the recent uh, executive order by the White House reflected uh, that as well. And so there are common concerns, common fears yeah. on both sides. But in of the America, Atlantic. it's like 50-50 about that order. But in Europe, the liberal, this is bad news for the uh, Angela Merkel uh, set and the liberal politicians. If this is true and this holds, you're going to see a stream of right-wing politicians seize power in Europe and a, lot, and a bunch of other countries. Yeah, I think it's ironic that you've seen, uh, for example, Angela Merkel, Francois Hollande, for example, the leaders of Germany and France, condemning uh, President Trump over his executive order, while at home, of course, there is huge concern and fear over the, the refugee issue and mass immigration. Uh, and without a doubt, I think you do have um, you know, European elites in power who are deeply out of touch with their own uh, populations and the open borders policy implemented by Angela yeah, that's, Merkel. That's what which, led to Brexit. Um, uh, yeah, which led to you know, 1.3 million uh, refugees flowing into Germany. This has had a, a huge impact across Europe, and I think there's been a widespread re rejection of Merkel's open yeah, borders no approach by most European publics. All right, Doctor, we appreciate it as always. Thank you.